Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. Police responding to a shooting in Hollywood last night. Officers surrounded that scene in a neighborhood just off I-95 near Taylor Street. A witness heard several gunshots, then saw a car speed off from the area. A man was injured in this shooting. His condition is not yet known. It is unclear what may have led up to that gunfire. Shocking confrontation caught on camera in Cooper City. A man points a gun at a customer making an ATM deposit. It happened back in March at a Bank of America branch on Griffin Road. The man said he was making a deposit when, when a driver with a gun pulled up behind him started honking his horn. The two men exchanged words. One of them pulled up that gun and eventually left. If you recognize who that is, call the Broward Sheriff's Office. North Miami Beach leaders voting to vacate the seat of now former Commissioner Michael Joseph after he missed 120 days. He and one other Commissioner boycotted meetings for months, stalling all city business until a court ordered them back. Joseph was not at last night's meeting because of a medical issue. The city will now schedule a special election to happen within the next 90 days to fill that seat. And a Miramar home up in flames. Three men inside all made it out safely thanks to neighbors. Cell phone video capturing the flames tearing through the home near University Drive and Miramar Boulevard on Tuesday afternoon. Firefighters responded to that scene within minutes, quickly containing the fire before it spread to nearby houses. The cause of that fire is under investigation. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.